also after the last night, the day yes. after, the night before. The day after the night before, yes. What did you make of that? The night before was very good. In fact, we set that as a challenge to people because if you can get through the night before and get home in time and get up the next morning, then you're okay for the conference. But yeah, it was it was great last night. Do, do you know what threw me was the fact that we went to bed before Linda Bold and her husband. Well, so she really is converted to the cause. It, it certainly looks that way. <laughs> and she, she tweeted me to say she was bringing her husband to rein her in. If that's what being reined in is, that's good. I'm up for that. Uh, I love some of that. It was a great evening. I mean, it, it really kicks it off to a good start because everybody chats. It breaks the ice. There are people, some people there who are doubters, and they just see, you know, vaping as kind of normal. You know, so you know, I think that vaping wasn't the only thing going on, but lots of things going on which were kind of interesting. I think. Yes. Yeah. It was uh, interesting to see that there was an awful lot of people kind of gathered outside. Yes. And then everybody moving in for the presentations. There should be some footage of that going on. Yes. And then I loved watching all these little conclaves of conversations going on where people were getting advice, building yes. contacts, ready yeah. to move things forward. Yeah. Well, the whole, you know, you know, Paddy and I like to orchestrate these things. Uh, the whole idea is to get people chatting. You know, cause they feel uncomfortable talking to certain people. You know, the people come from different companies, different organisations, and they're not accustomed to. They even sometimes not even ever been in the same room. Mm. You know, together. So having that opportunity to, to chat, and it really worked well last night because it wasn't groups of you know academics and groups of vapors and groups of other you know, but everybody was was chatting. So it really, yeah, it, it got off to a really good start. I think it was fabulous. Yes, I think and the, the presentation was great with Honlik giving the awards yes. to the vapors of the year. Uh, and Sarah, the, there being the mistress of ceremonies. <laughs> can we use the word mistress when I it comes to we can, I, yeah, think I think we probably can, better, yes. 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 <laughs> but she really enjoyed that. And yes. I know everybody's uh, really uh, chuffed that um, you know, Honlik is there. Yes, very yeah. much so. I, I, I've never seen one man have so many selfies taken with him. Exactly. I, w I did warn him that he would be treated a bit like a hero, and I have seen people walk past him and go, oh, that's the man. You know? Yes. <laughs> well, it, 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 as I've said to you before, it's a little bit difficult for me trying to remain as detached as a journalist probably should, because yeah. I'm talking to my heroes in all of this yeah. as well. And yeah. I'm, I'm looking so much looking forward to having chats with other people. It brought it home to me, though, how this one man, you know, looking to pro invent something that would... Yeah, because he wanted to give up smoking, mm. and he was experimenting, and it was a big thing, and then it was smaller and smaller and smaller. But it's extraordinary to think that there is a, a single inventor. I mean, I know other companies have been trying this, you know, over the years, and it never really took off. But you know, from that little experiment in his lab to. 2.6 million vapors in the UK. Yeah. You know, it's and uh, he's not stopped yet. He told no, me. no. Yes, when we, when we spoke earlier, he said he's not stopped yet. He's still looking at improving the technology even yes. further. Yeah, so and it, it will. I mean, it, it, it is fast changing. Oh, very. I mean, we've got Generation 4 now. Yeah. I mean. And Lord help us, this time next year, we'll probably be on Generation 6. I've got no idea what that's going to be, but it's, bring it on. I mean, it's looking in the big sweep of history, as we have to occasionally. Mm. It's, uh, you know, this last few years, real turnaround, mm. real change going on. I won't be able to look back, but others will be able to look back on it. Oh, yes. <laughs> you will. <laughs> I'll be around long enough to see if my predictions have come true or not. <laughs> well, yes, absolutely, and, uh, and I sincerely hope they do. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to good things from this. Um, mm. It's got off to a really good start with last night. I do hope I can get into rather more sessions than I did last year, but, um, yeah. It's I think this year we've got... Um, more varied presenters and presentations. Last year was very much first good look at what's going on. This year we've got a lot of new issues being discussed. I mean, it's difficult to pick out some from the many presentations, but we've got somebody on tax. You know, mm. people are saying, well, what's going to happen about tax? And we've got a tax expert who's going to be talking about where this is head in, you know, we've got uh, Ricardo talking about harm reversal, which is always a good one. I like that idea. Uh, and we've got um, Public Health England well represented here with Martin Dockrell. So, you know, I mean, there are lots of others that are, you know, one can look forward to, but we've got some good new stuff here. 
I think there are going to be some very valuable relationships built as yes. a result of the Global Forum. Um, and I think you and Paddy deserve a massive pat on the back from every vapour everywhere in the world. Um, from New Zealand to Australia to ah, the States. Yes. And the UK. Yes, Mario, yes. Mario Aglubis here. I'll be talking to her later. I know, Mara, who is the, the long distance, the longest distance traveller, 33 hours to get to the conference. So, yes. yes. Very good that there are people from Australia because the situation is very bad in Australia. It is. And through this, people, people come in here and beginning to talk to each other. I think we'll see some interest in developments. I mean, I'd like to see uh, an Australian vaping organisation, rather like our NNA, yes. come out in, in Australia so that there is, you know, you've got good people, people, people speaking up, saying good things, beginning to make connections with the academics, the academics, you know, getting a bit interested. Uh, I think. There's a lot to be done there, but so that's good. Uh, we've got people here from Asia, similarly, you know, lots of things to that it's, should be happening in Asia. It's building a worldwide movement. Exactly that, yes. So there we are. Yeah. <laughs> from small things. <laughs> but most of all, Paddy and I enjoy doing it. We like we like putting on events and we like events working the way people are, finding them interesting and enjoyable at the same time. Well, forgive me for saying that as a vapor, I think this is the most important event. And the fact it that certainly you, is. And the fact that you and Paddy <laughs> have put this together and it have enabled what I'm seeing happening, I, 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 I can only say thank you. Oh, well, you're very, very kind. kind. Very, very good, kind. thank you. Yeah. So for the moment, uh, Professor Jerry Stimson, I love that. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much for talking. Thank you and, very much, uh, Dave. I'm sure everybody in VTTV land will uh, enjoy watching that. I hope you will do.